going on guys, you just be here. Today I'm gonna to be making a video about some of my favorite apps for the iPad Pro for the month of February. Now this list is gonna have a bunch of different apps in it in different categories such as gaming, uh, note taking, whatever you like, you're gonna be able to find an app that suits your needs. And before I do get into the video though, I'm gonna kindly ask you guys to subscribe to my channel and like the video as it'll help my channel grow. And to pay you back, I'm doing a giveaway. So in about two weeks, I'll announce a winner of a $25 giveaway. All you gotta do is be subscribed and comment down below. You can win a $25 gift card to Apple or Amazon. Let's get into the video. The first app is Notion, and Notion is a note-taking app at its core, but it's a lot more powerful than the standard note-taking apps that you find nowadays. It's a block-style note-taking app. So the way I use Notion is I use it a lot for my YouTube videos, and if I'm thinking of an idea, then I'll jot it down in Notion, and later on, I'll go back to that uh, note that I put in, and I'll turn it into a page, and then I'm able to go in and write full outlines for my videos, or basically anything that you can imagine uh, when you're taking notes. It has the ability to make numbered lists, bulleted lists. You can add headings and bold text, of course. Anything that you can imagine to do in a regular note-taking app, you could do it through Notion. And really, the good thing about Notion is it kind of is a note-taking app that fits a lot of different styles. So if you really want to do a to-do list and keep track of things, then you can use Notion. And also if you want to just, you know, take all of your notes for your lectures or anything like that, then you can use Notion as well. It has an app for your iPhone and you can access it through uh, your web browser. So really it's available to you on any device. You could type it up on your iPad Pro and finish typing the note on your MacBook Pro a bit later. Next up is Lightroom and Lightroom Room shouldn't really be a surprise to anybody. I think if you've been around, you've heard of Photoshop. Well, Lightroom is really for changing colors and you know really getting into the photos and editing it. And it's very powerful on my MacBook, but it works amazing on the iPad Pro. So I use it to change my exposure change the color temperature, change the sharpness, increase brightness, anything like that can be done on it. On top of that, there are a few effects that you could put on a picture. You can also use things like the healing brush and soften and smoothen skin, um, add textures to the photo. So it's very powerful. It's one of the most powerful iPad apps and it works really well on that iPad Pro. One more thing that I do like about it is that it has the star rating system. So what I do is usually if I'm meeting with a client, we'll go over all the photos that we took and then I give them the ability to rate the photos and later on I know how much they really like it. If they don't like a photo, I'm not gonna edit it. But if they really like a photo, I know to edit it. Lightroom also has some nice import and export features. So first of all, it exports really fast with that Bionic chip in the iPad Pro, but you're also able to export and uh, save things to the cloud. So I use it to save it to my iCloud drive and then later on on my computer, I might use the computer to upload the files to my file sharing website or I'll use it to just add a few more touch-ups on that LG 4K display. So basically, it just gives you the ability to sync between devices. That's really a cool feature for Lightroom. The app is actually free to download, but to access it and to do a lot of things with it, you're gonna need a subscription. And if you're already a photographer, then you most likely have that subscription. So it's not really a big deal to you. You can use it on your iPhone or your iPad and you'll be okay. Next up for some fun. And I do wanna shout out my two-year-old niece who got me addicted to the game. It's called Tom's Gold Run. And it's basically like Subway Surfers uh, that I used to play back in the day, um, but it is a little bit different. So Talking Tom has been on the iPhone for years. I'm thinking about my iPhone 4, but this game is so addictive. Basically, it's an endless runner and your objective is to collect as many things in the game as possible, whether that be coins or upgrades. And your goal in the game is really to go as far as you can. It's an endless runner, as I mentioned, and also collect points. And you can use the points to upgrade your home. And this gives you access to more and more levels. So it's really addictive. I've been playing this game for a while now. And since I came across this game, I've never showered. Okay, I'm just kidding. I did shower, I swear. Next up is Unsplash. It's just a cool place to find 
different kinds of photos. So I use it for wallpaper, uh, but you can use it for, um, you know, creating your Pinterest board or your mood board. If you're working with a client and you want to show them a specific look, you're most likely going to be able to find it on Unsplash. The photos are all high quality and you can find photos in different categories, such as wallpapers, nature, architecture, fashion, you can find street photos and more. All the pictures are free. And again, I use this for my wallpapers on either my iPad or on my iPhone 12. So if you're looking for high quality wallpapers or photos, definitely Unsplash is for you. Now, before I do get into the next app, I do want to say that if you would like to support the channel, you can go in the description below and purchase my icon pack for the iPhone. It works with iOS 14. It's clean, minimal black and white icons. It's only about $4.99, I believe so it's not that expensive if you want to support the channel uh, go ahead purchase it I really appreciate it and I do give back in the form of giveaways as well next up is an app for video editors and this one is LumaFusion now if I'm being honest it's not my main video editor I tend to use Final Cut Pro for that but it is a good replacement if you don't mind doing all of your edits for videos on an iPad and honestly it works well for that so with LumaFusion you're able to edit high quality 4k videos videos you can add color grading to it you can add effects on it you could add titles transitions they're all built into the app so the app works buttery smooth it's very high powered and there's not really much that you can't do on it uh, there are a couple limitations if i'm being honest but other than that it works really well what i like about lumifusion is that you can import the videos from a hard drive after you've done your video or photo shoot and when you save the file similar to what i was saying with lightroom is that you have the ability to save it to the cloud and work on it later now lumifusion is not free there is a cost to it but i think it's definitely worth it if you're going to make it your main video editing software and if you think about it final cut pro is a lot more expensive than LumaFusion and you can get a lot of work done if you really want to be a mobile video editor. Next up is Pocket. Wait, are you guys still watching? If you are, make sure to subscribe. Make sure. Next up is Pocket and Pocket is one of my favorite apps. I tend to use it on my phone, whether it's my iPhone or an Android phone, or of course on my iPad Pro. And the way Pocket works is you have the ability to save articles for offline reading. So let's say that you're busy, but you came across a headline in an article, but you came across a headline and you really want to read it later, you just don't want to forget, then you could save it to Pocket. And if you don't have Wi-Fi or internet connection, it archives the article so that you can actually read it with all the images uh, just as you would if you were reading it on a web browser. So you get all that detail. So what I used to use it for back in the day was collecting articles that had to do with my school. If I'm doing research on a certain topic, then I would have used uh, Pocket. But as of late, I just use it a lot for entertainment articles. Anything that I can't read at that time, I'm going to save it for later. So I'd really recommend Pocket if you're into reading a lot of articles and you travel a lot, you might not have cell service maybe on a plane or something like that or in the subway i don't know who's still traveling too much but if you are pocket is the app for you okay so like i'm a junkie for interior design architecture and just real estate and homes in general so of course i've downloaded the app called house h-o-u-z-z -Z. it's a cool app that allows you to just browse pictures of uh, interiors of homes or, ex or exteriors of homes as well but it's really cool if you're into to like ikea and stuff like that or just a home design maybe you bought a new place you want to furnish it you want some inspiration then house is definitely a good app for you you can sort it uh, by things like bedroom style your budget and it'll display high quality images of different homes so i've just used it to see like a lot of different homes and also it has two cool features especially if you're in the united states you can find a local professional through house and also you can purchase some of the things so if you like something and a photo you can actually purchase it and have it shipped to you so i'd recommend house i've been using this forever and on my downtime i do like to go through all the photos just for some inspiration so that pretty much wraps up my list for february of my favorite apps for the ipad pro let me know if you have any cool app suggestions that i could check out i mentioned in my next video if you have any thoughts on some of these apps that i mentioned drop it in the comment below and if you like the video make sure to subscribe 
subscribe to my channel and yeah like the video as well the thumbs up button just click it for me please thanks so much and i'll see you guys in the next one peace